So the way the solar collector works is really simple. Basically, sunlight transmits through the clear side panel and it strikes the black absorber coil. As a result of that absorption process, what happens is that coil becomes very, very hot. So we've measured temperatures where that coil can reach 80 degrees Celsius. And the idea is, is that we just circulate cold water through that hosing as it works its way through the top of the collector, that water just becomes very, very warm. And then it comes out of the collector, which will then just go to uh, a water storage tank. And you would have a tank of hot water by the end of the day. So it's, it's a really safe piece of kit to operate in really sunny climates. Uh, it's really easy to install. You can just put it on the ground or a, a flat roof, which makes it ideal for hotels as well, because they always have lots of flat roofs. You can have as many of these collectors as you want. It can fit in the space and it'll start converting sunlight into, into useful energy. Everything that we wanted to do, it wasn't just about the environmental impact of the solar collector. We wanted to make as much social impact as possible. Uh, in a lot of developing countries, there's huge amounts of unemployment, particularly with the youth. And it's obviously the youth that are so worried about climate change as well. So what we wanted to do was create a business model that empowered the youth to be part of the climate change response uh, and at the same time develop uh, a sustainable livelihood. We know for a long time that energy is the biggest slice of the carbon emissions pie. Uh, what a lot of people don't realise is the fact that half the emissions coming from the energy sector is all from the heating and cooling sector. Um, electricity, transportation, they're um, slivers of that slice. Uh, it's quite frustrating that a lot of progress isn't being made to decarbonise heat. Um, in the UK specifically, we're only halfway meeting our, our renewable heat targets, whereas we're on track to meet uh, our electricity targets. But if we want to make serious impact for the climate emergency, we have to think of ways to decarbonise heat. So it's that really important part of the, the equation that's, that seems to be missing. Um, also the fact that carbon emissions from developing countries exceed those of the industrialised nations. So it's really critical that we develop technologies that can be implemented in both industrialised and developing nations.